Hello and welcome to day four of Conexpo ConEx special programme by Construction TV. I'm Alan Peaford. And I'm Simon Gould. All the technology we're seeing here at this show is driving something of a storm. And if there is a storm, Al, we're in the perfect spot. This is the Tornado Intercept vehicle. Travels at 100 miles an hour and it featured in the Storm Chaser movie. It's powered by a Cummins turbo diesel engine. And we might need that storm machine in this program today. We're going to be talking to a former US congressman who warns that this industry could be at risk if the US government doesn't start spending on infrastructure soon. We're also going to be talking to some of the industry leaders, so there's quite a bit for you. Join us after the break. Welcome back. If you've never been to Conexpo, I can promise you the sheer scale of it would astound you. We're here with one company that's taken up what in any other exhibition would probably be an entire hall. We're with the Vertgen Group, four globally recognized brands, and each one of them bringing something new to the show that's different for the US market and often for the world. These are tier four final machines. The first version here and behind us are the MC110R and MC110Z machine. Again, they're first uh, tier four machines we've actually brought into North America. So it's a major launch to bring this to the market for our, co our customer base. Behind us here, we have the MR110 and EVO2 and the MR130 EVO2. Again, a complete new launch of impactors with new technology for the North American market. At this morning's press conference, Vergen got some interest when they were talking about using European screed with American tractors, the best of both worlds. We asked them why. There's an increasing demand for compaction screeds, screeds that use tamper bars in North America. Um, one of the challenges is mobilization of the paver at a high speed, which is why we take the higher speed tractors to move the machines onto job sites or on job sites themselves. And they can also then utilize the European compaction screeds. The advantage of this tractor also is the ability to take that compaction screed off and put a typical conventional North American vibratory screed on. What is new at this show is for the North American market is the SP84, which is our new slip form paver designed specifically for the U.S. market for up to 26 foot paving. We do things a little bit different here in the U.S. The U.S. paving style here is with a little wetter concrete, a little higher slump. So we've specifically designed this mold and this machine for those characteristics. What we're showing today is the uh, HD12 with oscillation. This is one of a new range, four new models. We introduced the technology into North America about 10 years ago and have delivered a thousand machines to date. If you over compact with vibration, you run the risk of causing damage to the cold side. Oscillation will still give you that same dynamic compaction, but it'll do it safely without risk of damage to the cold side or to the new materials. ZoomLine is doing a roaring business here at the main entrance to Conexpo. Well, we have a lot of stuff new. I mean, we're excited about the rough terrain crane line. It's completely new from 40 ton, 65 ton, 80 ton, and 100 ton. So we have the entire spectrum of machines that are coming in. And they come as a team, basically. I mean, you go from the smallest to the largest crane, and we cover the full spectrum. We're also very excited about the crawler cranes. Uh, behind us, the 110 ton, which is the largest segment of the market, we produced the crane completely from scratch by basically taking the best of every competitor and just putting it into one. And the same thing with the 260. I mean, it's an exciting crane. It's growing so fast that I have to start placing larger orders and we have to increase manufacturing. <laughs> hey, we're going to a commercial break. Join us afterwards. Here we are on the case stand to attend the Dire States Infrastructure Discussion Panel. It's all about the US infrastructure system and we were lucky enough to catch up with former Congressman James Oberstar to ask him exactly what's required. The challenge for the US transportation network is to provide the investment needed to keep pace with the deterioration of our bridges and our roadways 
and our transit systems. The UK announced in January last year a 17 billion pound investment in modernizing the high-speed rail system and in building the second high-speed rail line. The largest investment since the Victorian era in passenger rail. That's the kind of thinking we need to have in the United States. Well, thank you so much for your time, Chairman. There you go, Alan, some really interesting information there, and it's back to you. Well, bumps in the road are not only irritating for motorists, they're also irritating for the road builders who have to go back to make costly repairs. Now, often these bumps are caused when the aggregate separates in the hoppers and goes cold. Companies inside Conexpo are coming up with solutions, and we're going to go inside and have a look and see if we can get rid of what goes bump in the night. The original concept was continuous paving, but what we learned after the fact was the machine did a very remarkable job of remixing material, reblending for both aggregate segregation and temperature segregation, and we could take truckloads of mix that were that were cold on the outside, hot on the inside, and reblend them and provide a very consistent product out of the back of the shuttle buggy, thereby providing a more consistent product to the paver. Our Road smoothness increased, segregation went away, roads last longer because we don't have segregated sections, we have smoother sections, less bumps, so the traveling public gets a better road and the contractor gets better material at the paper. Well I'm back in the heart of the technology area here at Conexpo to talk to Mark Contino from TopCon. What visitors are going to see from ConExpo 2014, it's all about technology, it's all about connectivity. From the TopCon perspective, you're going to see we're giving the contractors tools that they can use in the field for instant updates, constant communication. It's allowing them to stay connected to their job sites, multiple job sites. It's just giving the, the contractor so much more power to really control their environment. TopCon has been working very hard at integrating our technology with major OEM machine providers and we have very good relationships and we continue to be delivering that technology that now a lot of customers are demanding that it's embedded in the machine. The technology is getting more mainstream, more and more contractors are taking advantage, so even the smaller owner operators are starting to say, look, I need to have GPS technology on my machine, I need to be able to connect and uh, that's what we're seeing. Well, there's certainly been a lot of technology going, Simon, hasn't there? I've been quite impressed with it all, oh, different new things that we're seeing. Hey, man, look at this. Do you know what, Alan? Imagine if we were holograms. We could do the whole show from the newsroom. Cool, that'd be marvellous. That would save my feet from all that walking. Walking? Haven't you got the teleporter app? Teleporter app? Watch this. Simon? Simon? Well, hopefully, that's a one-way teleporter ticket. I'll be with you tomorrow. Please join us. Goodbye.